What is up my fellow lazy gamers and welcome back to another mod review for Risk of Rain 2. For you today we have the Katarina character mod. Uh, this was made by Lemon Lust. And as always, the link is going to be in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out for yourself. But today we're going to be taking a look at exactly what this character does and all the abilities that she possesses. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start taking a look. We're going to go ahead and start with the passive ability for Katarina, and that is Veracity. So Veracity allows Katarina to go ahead and pick up the daggers that she deploys onto the battlefield while using some of her abilities. Every time she picks up one of these daggers, she also emits an AoE damage. This passive also allows her to reduce the cooldowns of her abilities by one second every time she gets a kill. This is an amazing passive as it does allow her to combo a lot of her skills back and forth and gives her a, a great amount of abilities and uptime on a lot of her moves. So you can constantly be doing moves and getting in and out and dodging a lot of abilities and putting out a ton of damage. And you don't always have to wait for a lot of your cooldowns, but you do have to pay attention to where your daggers are going so that you make sure you pick them up and get that reset. Now for her basic attack, she does just have just that, a basic attack. She does a slashing attack in front of her. It doesn't have a ton of range or a ton of damage. It's just a pretty basic attack but for her secondary we do have the bouncing blade this is similar to the huntress's secondary ability uh, where katarina throws a dagger and it can bounce from enemies that are nearby and hit each other but this ability also drops a dagger onto the floor so that you can pick it up and do the passive ability that does the aoe splash this is a great ability that really does help you uh, reset and constantly keep that resetting proc available this is an amazing ability to kind of weave into your combos and kind of just have that uptime always there like i personally love to always throw these on any enemies i'm trying to kill so that once i do get in close there's already a dagger on top of them and that helps only one reset my abilities and two give me that big aoe proc of damage that's gonna hopefully create enough burst to actually kill them. Now for Katarina's utility skill, we have Shumpo. Uh, so Katarina tosses a dagger into the air above her in the current location and then blinks towards uh, her target or a fixed distance in front of her. Now the blink towards the target only works if you're holding down the attack button and you'll be able to do the blink but otherwise you're just gonna move forward uh, a certain amount of distance depending on uh, which direction you're looking and you'll go in that way. Uh, if you do retrieve the dagger that you did throw up into the air in your uh, starting position, that does refund your cooldown by 75%, which also helps with the uptime. And this is where I mean that you will constantly, as long as you're trying to retrieve daggers and putting daggers on enemies, you're gonna be constantly resetting your skills and having that uptime so you can keep outputting damage. Now for Katarina's special, we have Death Lotus. So Katarina channels for up to 2.5 seconds, uh, rapidly throwing daggers and in every direction, and each dagger thrown will increase your attack speed. Now, overall, this character is pretty much just a very fast-paced assassin. All you're trying to do is just constantly keep your daggers up and keep resetting your abilities so that you can keep doing more damage. This character, uh, if you misplay your abilities or you kind of miss time where your daggers are, or you can't pick them up and stuff, you can kind of lose out on a lot of damage and it, it, it can make you feel clunky, but that's just mostly on user error and not character error. It's very like once you start to understand the way to play the character and how to time your abilities correctly so that you can maximize your output. The character feels so intuitive and so clean that it, it just works, which should make sense. This is a character that's coming over from League of Legends, so the abilities were already kind of pre-made, kind of know in general what you're going for in terms of character feel and character build. So with that taken care of, it's mostly just having to translate those abilities into a 3D world. And I think that this modder did an amazing job of translating the abilities and the way that they're supposed to feel and translating that into this 
new 3D environment. I think they did such an amazing job with this character that it truly shows in skill and you really have to give them props for what they were able to do with this character. It shows a level of polish that isn't really seen in a lot of other character mods and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to any other characters that this person puts out whether it be Le uh, League of Legends or uh, their own unique character. Now another thing I'd like to add was that this person was also able to translate a lot of the uh, skins from League of Legends on this character and put it into this game. So if there's a skin that you particularly like to play uh, when you played Katarina in League of Legends then you can also play with that skin here in Risk of Rain which is always a nice addition being able to play in a large amount of different uh, character skins and the person has also been working very hard to make sure that the character can also work in the multiplayer lobbies so long as everyone has the mod then you should be able to use this character with ease in a multiplayer setting now you might be wondering if i have anything that i'd feel like the character needs or if there's any changes to the mod that i feel might be need to be implemented but actually when it comes to this one i don't think there is i think the person has done a, a fantastic job of setting up this character that there really isn't anything more that's needed the character feels great the character plays great i think they're pretty well balanced and that it's not too powerful but if you do learn how to play the character correctly you can get a lot of damage out in a very quick amount of time so it, this is more of a character that just you need to put the time in to get the skill instead of just a character that has flat numbers that are just good this is definitely a skill based character that is a ton of fun to play. And I think that is more than enough for this character. Now, whether you enjoy that kind of playstyle or not is gonna be completely up to you. I personally have enjoyed it quite a lot, but it does mean that sometimes if you're not paying attention, you're gonna get yourself killed because you mistimed a couple of abilities and you misplaced where your daggers are. So, and you can't dash out or something because you didn't reset. So you're kind of just stuck in there and in the middle of it. Um, so that does kind of happen a lot where you get uh, stuck out in the middle of a fight and you misplace the dagger, you hit, <laughs> you miss the ability to dash and now, oh well, you're in the middle of it and you just get cooked. But overall, an amazing mod uh, and I will continue to be looking out for more mods from this person. And if you've made it this far, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton if you do. Leave a like and a comment on any other mods that you'd like me to check out, if there are any. And uh, I'll definitely be taking a look and I'll always be replying in the comments. So let me know what you guys think of this character mod. And I'll see you guys next time. Because I can.